Greeting solar nibs. Uh, it's been a while since I did some content, but unfortunately life has been pretty busy with job, family. You all know how it is out there. So today I'm going to do a brief overview of the Renergy M1, or sorry, Renergy 1 M1 um, system. So for those of you that you primarily have Renergy equipment, uh, this thing connects right to it. It connects in several different ways, and uh, it can be powered both by the battery and something very cool. Let, you sh let me show you something here real quick. This is actually what it looks like live, and you're like, wait a minute, Aaron. Like, there's juice. How are you doing that? Well, it also has a USB-C connection, so how cool is that? Look at this. Talk about totally portable and battery powered. That part is pretty slick. So it's an energy monitoring, it's my smart device control system. Um, pretty much if you have any type of uh, Renergy smart energy products, you'll be able to use this one. Um, it MSRPs, I think for like $250. I watched for sales on the app actually, because uh, the sales on the app seem to be just a little bit better than like the regular website. So if you're a, you know, if you have the DC Home app, you get maybe like a two to five percent extra discount on something. So it's kind of cool. So two fifty normal price. This one um, I got for I think a hundred and fifty something, maybe a little more, a little less, um, and ordering it through the app. So a little bit of discount on there. And as you can see, um, there's a lot of cool features about it. I think my favorite parts are the fact that. You not only can, um, when you're physically there, see all the different things on the screen, and I'll, I'll do a cutaway to a close-up on some of the, um, the information you could see from the screen. It also connects to the uh, DC Home app, right? And that's it right there. Probably the one I think I'm going to use the most is it connects to the Renergy One portal. Uh, so a web portal, and I'll, I'll show another quick video of that with a little bit more description on everything you see. So one of the things that I, um, that I extra love about this is the fact that I can finally see energy data, right? Like historical data. I'm still a little disappointed that you can't export it off the, your mobile phone, but it is one of those things where you can, when you go to the website, you can download a couple different formats and get your information. So that's kind of really what I'm trying to see with this whole system, right? Like this isn't critical. You don't need this for your for your backup, but it is one of those things that's nice if you're an enthusiast or or a hobbyist or whatever you want to call it like me, I want to see more detailed information on how my energy is being, you know, generated, right? So the more details I can get, the more I can take it can compare to like, um, you know, on the grid stuff like price, value, you know, how practical it is. So that is probably the top, you know, the top two cool things about it is finally being able to get historical data from, from your setup and the fact that it is portable. So a couple of things that I, um, one of the things that I don't like about it is there's no way somehow some way when I was setting it up the first time um, because you can't have it go select multiple uh, Bluetooth connections obviously uh, with most of the devices in the Renergy ecosystem you have to do it one at a time and um, I had to cut away for something and then come back and it was one of those situations where I didn't know I left off right so I kept on adding batteries and somehow it thinks I have nine batteries instead of eight. And the particular setup I have with the 100 amp Bluetooth ones, um, I'm running them in parallel so that only I can only have eight. So there's not nine. So in a little bit when you see the, the screen, it's going to show you 900, but basically it is only 800 setup. So the fact that you can't go in and delete individual uh, batteries and make adjustments to things that are to be displayed, that's... That's a downside, but again, minor kind of cosmetic for the purposes of I'm doing with, you know, keeping track of what, how much juice the controller's doing, it serves its purpose a lot. So I would have to say that, you know, that, um, 
that that part is probably the only bad thing. The second probably thing that I, that is interesting about it is you have to get a, a subscription to be able to get the historical data. So, yes, I understand nowadays everybody wants to sing in the cloud and everybody's bolting on information, but it does annoy me a little bit the the price to value, right? I think I paid twenty nine. Twenty nine ninety nine for one year of the basic information, and it's where I'm like, eh, you probably could have given, you know, maybe give people that have bought your products a little bit of discount because again, the bang for the buck as far as just getting historical data and having to pay for it, it's not particularly thrilled about. But again, definitely not a deal breaker. So. Um, We'll pause for a moment and then we'll switch over to the view and I can actually show you the terminal and uh, we can walk through it. All right, so now we'll talk about the Renergy One portal. So I talked about how you can get a lot of information from the screen itself or the app. This part is probably my favorite part about the whole display and to be able to look at your data. This is what you see when you log in. Obviously up here we got solar panels. Someday in the future, I know it's overkill but hey you know solar lubes like me get excited it would be kind of neat to uh be able to have some sort of bluetooth connection to your panels right or near field communication to where you could get like data on each panel but again just nerd it out a little bit probably not going to happen because obviously that adds cost to the um solar panels so the next one over we have the controller right now uh, a rare thing here in uh, winter in Michigan, the sun is shining, but it's actually pretty good. It's getting to show you uh, a little bit of detail about what's coming in. I have six 100 um, watt panels connected in series parallel. That's how I'm able to get it under the um, voltage or amperage. I can't remember without having stats in front of me to where my Renergy um, Rover 40 can take, right? Because I think a uh, on mine, it's 550 max solar input, and obviously no more than, um, uh, I think, 50 volts. Maybe it's 75 volts. I can't think of it offhand. But um, so that's where I want to max out the controller, right? So you can see right now, sometimes I've got it close to uh, maybe 535 on a super sunny day in the summer. But this is where you can see, you really see the efficiencies of the panels, right? Where the panels up there are pretty consistent, but, you know, six of them crank it out 100 watts each with a fairly sunny day. We're getting four, uh, four, uh, 446.5 watts. But what it is cool about that, it's uh, cranking out 429.04 watts into the battery. So then we got the battery bank information here. As you can see it's showing nine instead of eight but it's still basic information then you can click in here and go into my devices and it gives you a little bit more detailed information right so now we can see uh, information on the cells temperature stuff like that if we get down to the controller um, right here it's showing us you know a lot more detailed information charging a battery at 30 31 amps which is pretty good the most I've seen it I think is 37 or something like that but you know pretty close to uh, what it's rated at so that is kind of cool and again I'm not uh, well pros or anything else I don't get into detailed stats this is just high level stuff for the solar rookies like myself so finally you break into energy data and this is the one where um, basically gives you your history right solar yield history and then um, you know, it can, it can also kind of forecast out. So if you wanted to click on it, um, oh, I can't get it working right now, but I mean, you know, it can kind of forecast out what it, what it thinks. Um, and then let's look at our most recent day. We actually finally had a couple sunny days in a row. So basically total of 2,500 Watts on that day. And we'll scroll down, power trend. Um, again, this is where, you know, it doesn't show the information on the inverter. I think the newer ones, the newer inverters are smart connected, but I only have the uh, uh, two th 
uh, the Renergy 2000 watts set up, but this is kind of cool where it does give me a little bit more detailed information. So that is what the Renergy One portal looks at. So we'll switch over. All right, we'll switch over and we're gonna finish things up real quick. Cause again, try to keep my stuff short and sweet. Overall, is this, you know, is this puppy worth $150 to an average person? No, probably not. But then again, oh, one thing I did forget about, sorry, my apologies, is these switches right here can be connected to smart devices. And that's where we talked about smart device control. Similar to you get with like a Philips Hue and other smart ones. If you click on this, they can do things. They got a top and a uh, bottom part. And then also in the app, you can control the different smart devices. So definitely tell them a noob. I almost forgot about that part. So overall, is it worth $150? Probably not to the average person. Well, our, sorry, let's look at it. 150 watts, or sorry, $150 plus the $30 for the basic subscription. So truly $180 for this first year. I think for the average person, probably not worth it. But to an enthusiast or somebody that's running a van, you know, like a van setup or a full off the grid setup instead of the office stuff that you see here, then it would be really worth it. I like it. I'll probably keep the subscription. Um, I do got to get in there and download um, some of these files to see if it if it is giving me the detailed information that I want. So that's pretty exciting to see. So, again, thank you for giving me uh, your time today. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll try and get to them when I can. In the meantime, see you later. Have a good day.